Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Dr. Ahmed Hafez. In this video, we're going to analyze the CDA Oasis interview with the CEO of the NDEB. I want to go through the, uh, the quotes here that I have taken and, and just kind of read through them with you. If you go to the interview and you, you go to time one minute and 35 seconds, this is what the, the CEO said. Graduates of recognized credit schools write two exams. One is the written and the other is an OSCE or objective structured clinical exam, which is as which is a station run exam. So he's just explaining what the OSCE is. Okay. So there's station with exhibits with exhibits at the station. This is means like the casts, the models. So cast photos, radiographs. So the OSCE has that where um, you go to a station and you might get a cast model. There's like a preparation in it. There might be a crown on a tooth. Uh, there might be an amalgam or a composite restoration or a, an RPD. Okay. There might be photos of those or the actual model with a probe. So, and, you, and it's a bell ringer exam where you move from one station to another. So that's the OSCE form. I, I uh, he's saying I am emphasizing that now because we'll be introducing in the skills exam that we'll talk about a little bit later in this interview. Okay, so that just confirms that he's, they're doing that. They're, inter they're putting OSCE questions in the ACS. The second part he mentions this is at minute seven and 33 seconds. So you could look that and, and, and you know, go through it on your own. The biggest one will be the introduction of OSCE style. So he's talking about the changes that are going to be done to the ACS. The biggest change is introducing OSCE style stations in addition to the traditional cyclomotor skills analysis on the mannequin head with the tie on teeth. So everything that the ACS still has coming like, you know, procedure wise is still there. Plus now you're getting the OSCE. Okay. So mainly the change in this is going to be you know, the traditional ACS uh, procedures plus new OSCE question or just OSCE, OSCE style stations. And they say the word stations, right? To me, that kind of implies maybe it's not like a dental chair, but let's see uh, more about this. Okay, so let's go back to the doc. All right, so it's a change of format and that's going to allow us to examine how areas of kit, which we had difficulty examining before. Okay, and then at minute 10, 10 minutes and 53 seconds, that time of the video, there's what he says. The benefit of the OSCE component, which really allows us to assess some of the case KSA. KSA is just knowledge, um, skills, and I forgot what was a lot, but like it's basically like the, the things that the patient, the our participants they want to test our our, our knowledge right um i think it's knowledge skills ability i'm sure i, I forgot what it was he, he explains it in the beginning of the video but what we weren't able to do before so the benefit is to allow us to assess the oski component will allow us to assess some things that we weren't uh, able to do before things like treatment planning patient interview and informed consent that's where things for me like come out like kind of you know surprise me a bit because oski doesn't have you know specifically this stuff what color should i put this in guys um let me put it in a nice let's keep it that blue color okay yeah so this is what kind of what informed consent from oski so this is where things get a little bit like wait are they bringing you know is it going to be an interview with a with a person um so let's i'm going to get to the analysis those kind of things that have not been able to test in a pen and paper or electronic format. So this is another part where it kind of means that he's saying we're going to bring questions that we couldn't do before in a pen and paper or electronic, which kind of implies a bit like, is it not going to be like an ACJ style? Like where you have multiple choice questions like OSCE is multiple choice at the end of the day, right? So let's look what, so, so, so the question we have here is what is this OSCE format? Okay. Um, and, and we don't know, obviously we don't know for sure, but we could try to, to narrow it down. So I'm going to, I'm going to look at it as 
what is it not? And then from that, we could at least maybe figure out what it is, right? So let's think, what is the ASCII questions? What are they, right? Let's put a question mark here. What are they? So are they going to be questions in, from the ASCII templates that are similar to ACJ? Like, you know how in ACJ you would have just a picture and you have to figure out what that disease is? Or you would have, uh, you know, a prescription. You have to figure out what that, uh, what the errors in it, or maybe you have a radiograph. So I, I here's the thing. I don't think so. Um, and I wrote here something. Uh, so would be a waste to bring ASCII questions that replicate the ACJ questions because you already passed the ACJ at this time, right? By the time you get to ACS, you already passed your ACJ exam. So. The ASCII questions, they are not ACJ style questions, right? Because that means you're not going to, this is what I think, okay? Because the ASCII questions, the pathology in the ASCII, the ra radiology in the ASCII, the um, medical emergencies, all that stuff, you already, you already passed that. You were already tested on those things in the ACJ. So they're not going to be ACJ replica questions. Okay. That's one of the things that they are not, I think. Now, one over here is maybe, I think one person asked this to ask me this question. Now, I do, I really strongly will think they will not, for sure, almost like for sure, you won't do actual work on live patients because it will contradict what the CEO just said. He said that you have to pass the preclinical stuff procedures before you could work on live patients. So most likely you will not work on live, like almost, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So you do, don't worry about that. You're not going to be working on live patients in terms of, of procedures. Okay. Because it will contradict what they just said and their justification of why making it that the, you have to pass all the, um, all the projects. So, so, uh, you didn't pass the ACS yet to go and do work on live patients. So this is, I think this is almost near impossible. Uh, they cannot have you work on live patients. Okay. Cause you didn't pass the ACS yet. So that's what it's not as well. So it's not going to be that. Okay. So not clinic work on live patients. So what's left, what's left is if you want to look at the OSCE template, what makes the most sense so far is that they will take the templates in the OSCE that are related to resto and prosto that do not exist in the ACJ and those they may add them as stations. Okay. So they will maybe add OSCE questions that you weren't tested on in ACJ. Okay. And mainly I believe they will bring things that they couldn't bring in ACJ things that you need to be there. Uh, like with objects, you can't do it electronically, like almost everything in OSCE could be done electronically similar to ACJ. Cause it's just templates and you put, you know, one of your answers and, but I think they may bring you models. This is the stuff they're talking about. They might bring you a class two prep because they want to see that, you know, how to evaluate clinical work crowns. Uh, Mar like, uh, you know, PFM, all ceramic, maybe not all ceramic, PFM, full metal crown preparations and restorations, their occlusion. They might bring you a temporary crown, tell you to evaluate that. Uh, an RPD, tell you to evaluate the rest uh, if the RPD is acceptable. The occlusion of two dentures, that's some. So we do have a full OSCE online course that we go through all of that anyway. So we're prepared to add this on as well. And you could use that to prepare for these questions. That's what I think most likely will happen now. The only thing that is pushing this idea away is that they mentioned this part here, right? Um, they mentioned the part where they say, we want to test treatment planning, patient interview and informed consent that we couldn't do paper and electronically. That's OSCE. I went, I went through all the OSCE templates and I didn't see anything related to informed consent, patient interview, except for the, they bring you the case and what the patient said. I just don't understand what they mean by that. That's why I'm like, what do they mean by this? Maybe it could um, mean there are going to be some new questions, right? About that. 
Now, the word stations, as he says, he mentions the word stations, stations. So I, I, I feel like it's going to be a, a bunch of stations where you're going to have the models on them and you're going to evaluate that. That, that makes sense. Okay. Most of the content in that interview supports this idea. However, the last statement he made, like treatment planning, patient interview, and informed consent, this is the only part that may imply some new questions related to, uh, to the ACS, which is basically maybe treatment planning based on x-rays, charts, and photos, and they actually make a new OSCE template for that. Like, what do you do with this patient? And, 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 or maybe what, what you could summarize all of this. Oh, you, you can't see it. My bad. Oh, what you could summarize all of this in is that they may bring you a question and you have to answer verbally to someone there and they're listening to you. It's like an interview uh, exam. So they're listening to you and they're evaluating what you're saying. That's the only way I could imagine how the station concept, OSCE, and treatment planning informed consent, because I don't see any templates in the informed consent. Um, and I don't see any templates in OSCE related to informed, uh, informed consent or patient interview or that, that, those things. And plus he's saying things that you can do on pen and paper or electronically. Well, what's the options there? Let's say he brought, let's say they brought the NDEB brought a question about informed consent, right? Let's just say that. And it's ACJ style. Well, then they have to bring you options, right? From A to, it could go to O, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, right? All these op 15 options, maybe. And you pick one. Well, you could do that electronically, can't you? You could make that an electronic exam. You don't need the station-based system, right? So this is what's confusing me here. That means I feel like it's less likely to be that. Maybe they're going to bring you a question in addition to these, right, up here the OSCE questions that are that are not in ACJ. Maybe they're going to bring a question. Right. And you have to answer verbally in an interview way. And someone there is going to evaluate how you do informed consent, how you um, uh, collect information and what's your plan about the treatment for the patient. Maybe they bring you x-rays, a perio chart, some photos, some patient info. But instead of writing on a multiple choice question, like just writing, oh, answers A, B, or they want you to talk about it, right? And it's an interview. They're going to interview you. Now, the, the option is, some people ask me, is it actors? Like, you know how some exams, they bring actors, um, you know, uh, is it just going to be an instructor or someone qualified, like a qualified dentist that's, that's evaluating you do? Or is it going to be an actor kind of telling you what their case? I don't think they'll bring actors, to be honest. I don't think dentistry is kind of like, an actor kind of, you know, exam because, you know, medicine is more like that because there's a lot of, you know, uh, diagnose, you have to diagnose things based on all symptoms a, a lot more than dentistry was in dentistry. Yeah. There's going to be maybe two scenarios, uh, where you could, and then you have to do a bunch of tests. Like, I just don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't believe that would happen, but if it does, then we'll find out. Um, I think it's not going to be patients, you know, now, another thing it may not be actors and maybe they want to, they want you to do informed consent on, you know, explain something to a patient, right? And the patient is an actor. So they, you explain the procedure and what questions they have and what their treatment plan is and someone's watching you. So, but they could kind of save, uh, instead of getting someone to do that, they could do it themselves. I, honestly, I don't know because it's, they're going to need someone to evaluate you, right? Eventually. So they have to hire someone to evaluate, evaluate you. So why would they get an actor and the evaluator? Why don't you just get the evaluator to do the acting kind of, and, and just not really the acting, the question is written down and you just have to answer it to the, eval to the person that's evaluating you, the, to the examiner, right? And then they'll just go like, okay, he did a good job in informed consent. He did a good job or she did a good job in explaining the treatment plan and actually good, had a good treatment plan. Um, so maybe subjective even, right? Based on what the person just thinks of how you approached it. Uh, I don't know. It could be. So what is the summary here? I don't want to make this. A, oh, it's already a long video. I'm sorry. I didn't want to make this a long video, but it just turned out to be that way. So the summary is they may bring OSCE questions that are not in ACJ, such as, um, as I said, like models and preparations that you have to evaluate. Second thing is they may bring questions and you have to do an interview, do informed consent, uh, you do, um, you know, explain the treatment plan 
or what is the treatment plan. Uh, you interview the patient where they will I, uh, interview, the, an instructor will interview or an examiner, a qualified dentist will interview you, or they will watch you interview someone else. Uh, uh, maybe a live patient that's just there to get the interview, for example, which I doubt they'll bring. Okay, so that's the summary, guys. That's it for the video. I, don't, I, I really didn't want to make it longer, but it just turned out to be that way. Uh, if you are looking for a basic help in basic sciences for dentistry, if you're not taking our full course and you need help with basic science, remember to check out, we have our basic science book published on Amazon. Um, you could get that and, and it's, 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 uh, it'll help you with basic science in any dental board exam. And we also have our basic science online course published on Udemy dot com so if you want to if you want if you're interested in basic sciences you need help and you're not taking our full course uh you could get the basic science part at least uh and, and get help with that i'm going to start with the new courses that we have we have just launched our oski online course so for the ndeb certification exams this works for anybody that's a graduate of an accredited program and anybody that's completed the uh, NDEB equivalency process and wants to do the board certificate exam. So we have that online, completely online with live uh, help sessions as well. And we have just uh, launched also our DSCKE exam uh, course for the course specialty exam. So that's pretty exciting. We already have students passing that exam with high marks. So if you're a specialist and you are thinking, okay, well, what's best for me? Should I do AFK? Should I do uh, that pathway or should I go into the DSCK course specialty exam? You could book a consult and we could kind of figure out what's the best strategy for you. And even if you are not a specialist and you're looking for a course, our AFK and ACJ courses are robust. Our AFK keeps growing. I keep adding content to it uh, and recordings. Plus there's live sessions, plus online quizzes. Um, plus you're going to get books shipped to you. So it you know you could always book a consult if you're interested in these and you want just more you want more info about our afk acj courses or our oski and dsck uh we could you know sit and talk over zoom and just see what's best for you